Hello buddies. Today I decided to create a new bread recipe. But along the line, something happened. Oh my goodness. I was like, why? Why is this happening to me? But I had no other option than to continue and finish up. So today I want to share this recipe with you all. This bread recipe. Okay. And I'll also tell you what happened. Now, I measured out 500 grams of whole people's flour, added 70 grams of sugar, 7 grams of salt, okay? Then I added 5 grams of instant dry yeast. After adding the yeast, I went ahead and combined the yeast first with a part of the flour, okay? Now, after combining the yeast, next I went in with nutmeg seed. So, I, I grated the nutmeg into, into the um dry ingredient or into the flour and the sugar and all that stuff so i grated just a little bit of the nutmeg okay to boost that taste of the bread now i said that the, the dry ingredient aside next i measured out 20 grams of milk and added about 220 grams of water mixed it together then i measured out 240 grams of um diluted or dissolved uh, or mixed solution yes <laughs> now i have this particular um flavor this is a mixture of different flavors in one i'm not going to mention this flavor pardon me guys because it, the secret is in my online class so if you want to know this secret flavor come to my online class guys i'm serious about this but i'm sorry you can use any flavor of your choice like your vanilla flavor your banana flavor butterscotch any good flavor you want to use just use it i measured half tablespoon of that flavor i added it then i added half teaspoon of powdered milk flavor combine everything together okay so once i was done i set that aside now back to the flour or the dry ingredient i added one secret ingredient which i will also tell you guys in my online bread class so if you're part of my online bread class you'll get to know this particular secret ingredient that i just added then i combined everything together and mounted the mixer bowl to the mixer machine and start mixing so once the the dry ingredients started mixing i started adding the as I add in the liquid ingredient, which is the milk I mixed with the flavor and all that, this will give you. I heard people talking about this boku bread, jandor bread, and all that. With this recipe, you will have a taste of your own boku bread. You have a taste of your own jandor bread at home, even for your business. Yes. <laughs> so. Let me just say, I'm making my own boku bread at home. <laughs> so you keep on adding the um the liquid or the wet ingredient into the dry ingredient to combine okay so after combining to this extent i added my margarine you can also use butter you can also use shortening so i use margarine for this recipe so i added my margarine 25 grams of margarine i added it then i i um I had to level up my the speed of my mixer to the highest speed so that it's going to combine the butter and the dough completely. Now, as, as the dough and the butter is mixing, I also went in to add more water gradually. So, in all, I added extra 30 grams of water. So, making it a total of 270 grams of water into this dough. Okay. So, after adding and combining the dough i make sure that i needed this dough thoroughly till the dough becomes so so supple so so soft and also till my dough develop the window pen test because that is what exactly you want you want a soft supple dough with that window pen test so that your dough can bloom up and you know give you that elasticity that you want okay because that is what you are looking out for in your bread okay so and that is also what will make your bread to be soft once you are done baking the bread now i transfer my dough onto my lightly floured work surface you can see how soft this dough is and you can also see it has developed the window pane as you can see so i try to check that to be sure <laughs> so 
Once that was done, I divided this dough into two parts. So one I measured 650 grams, the other I measured 240 grams. So the 650, the one of 650 grams, I added it into, I rolled it out, then folded it up, and added it into my 11 by 4 inches um, loaf pan. And the one of 240 grams, I added it in my 7 by 4 inches loaf pan. So those are the pans I used for this recipe. I covered that and let it prove. But gosh, this took almost 6 hours to prove. Something that I covered around, um, around um, 10 o'clock in the night until 5 o'clock the next morning. It has not proven to the extent that I wanted it. I was so disappointed and I was like, let me just bake this bread like that. So I had to remove the cover and I baked the bread. But despite the timing and everything, I think my yeast had an issue in this particular um, point. But I, I, I was happy that the outcome of the bread wasn't bad at all. The fluffiness, the softness, and uh, it created that the, the that compactness, the, that compactness I want. I got it, and also the bread was so soft. It was so soft, and the best of it is that the bread tasted so amazing. The taste of this bread, this is one of the tastiest bread I have ever made. Okay, so I'm going to keep this bread and monitor how far it's going to stay. Thank you guys, and see you all.